So my name is Joao. Um, I'm a security researcher at University of Twente. So my background is related more to security. So I have this uh, operational background as well. I work in the Brazilian register, the NICBR. I work with security there for eight years. So I have, I think I have a lot of hands-on experience. So just to show some research that I did, for example, we did some malware analysis more about IoT botnets. I did some analysis about SCADA device. And recently we have some research about low cost routers. I think the most popular one is the MicroTrick. Micro -trick. And we have some good results about this. So here's the agenda. I will, try, I will try to talk about the malicious traffic, how we collect this traffic, and how we can analyze this. So what is malicious traffic? It's, we have several definitions for that, but you know, internet is very noisy. We have many, we have bad guys, we have good guys, we have people doing security scan, we have people try to do the census, and the, the definition is very broad. So some people say that malicious traffic is everything that I don't, don't like, or can be anything that I, my security policy does not allow, allow or can be something more, more, more generic. But when we have to investigate malicious traffic in the context of IoT device, we have to keep in mind uh, what's the characteristic of this IoT device. So basically, they are very verbose, you know, they, they try to do a lot of stuff behind the, behind the network, trying to make everything automated. So they have this auto-discovery protocol that is very verbose, and they perform a lot of packets. And if you have an app, so a cell phone app, usually you have to connect to the cloud. So we have a kind of centralization of this traffic. Just to give a more practical example, um, we just to show how many packets one device doing the initial setup, we call bootstrap. So here we have three manufacturers for power plugs. We have the TP-Link, Wemo, and Hue from Philips. So I will ask for you guys, how many packets we have in the first minutes just to do setup? Do you think it's more than 100 or less than 100? Okay. So for this device, we have 71 packets. For the manufacturer Wimo, we have 500. And for Philips Who, we have 2,000. So they are very verbose. I'm not saying that this is malicious, but it's very important to understand the baseline, what's the normal behavior to see what is normal and what is not normal. That's why it's important to have this project like SPIN, they try to find information about the device and what is, rather, what is the baseline for each device. Okay, so when we, when we have the idea to monitor IoT malicious traffic, we have basically three approaches. We can use signatures, we can develop signatures like antivirus, we can find some patterns. For example, this device try to call home every two seconds, and this can be a pattern that can identify a, a, a device. And we also can have this anomaly detection. So if we build the baseline, we can see what is not in the baseline, and you can say, okay, so this traffic is suspicious. And how we can investigate IoT traffic in a large scale? Because it's quite simple if I have only one device in a laboratory, in a lab, and try, and we have a file in front of this, it's quite simple to identify this. But if you, have, if you want to investigate something more broad, we have to use, use some tools. We can use the network sensors, people call honeypots, or other sensors. So basically it's one machine that we spread around the globe, and we collect all the traffic to that machine and we analyze. But we also can use the darknets. Darknets is the same, same thing, but basically we have many IP addresses in one machine that receive all the packets. I just want to show a live example. Okay, so we have two, two darknets, one in Italy, one in Brazil, and we collect everything that reaches in that darknet. So I will try to connect there to show how many packets we collect per second. 
So I will use the, the TCP dump. I hope everyone knows basically what it is. It's a software to capture the traffic. So each line is one packet that is arriving in our darknet. So this is live. I hope we collect something. So this is the traffic that we are receiving now. So it's a lot of information. And it's a lot of information in about everything. Yeah, we, have, we collect everything. And as long as a botnet is a darknet, we don't reply any packet. So we only have traffic in one direction. So we only receive the packet and we store in a PCAP file. So this is the noise of the internet, not, uh, not only IoT, but about anything. But for sure, it's something suspicious because there is no service there. So everything that reached to our darknet, we have to analyze. Just to give some numbers, so we have this darknet is a slash, 20, uh, slash 19. We also have a slash 40 for IPv6. So we have many addresses, and we have three gigabytes of data per day to analyze. It's about 44 million of packets per day. So it's a lot of information. This is a graphic that we show the, the distribution of the traffic, just to show that we have some, some peaks. For example, when new vulnerability are, perf are released, people start to scan this, this network, try to find this new vulnerability. So we have some peaks. But basically, all the traffic is related to the protocol TCP, 94%. Okay, now talking about malicious traffic for IoT. When we talk about IoT, we have, the, we have many malicious traffic, but the main of the traffic are performed by, by the malwares. And when you talk IoT malwares, we know that the most common family is the Mirai and also the Bash Light. Both um, malware family, they are a botnet, so they try to perform activity, basically DDoS attacks. We have many variants of the Mirai. And Mirai is very popular, basically they do brute force scanning for the port 23 and 2323 using well-known passwords. But the good thing is that Mirai, the source code of Mirai was released and people start to analyze the source code and they found one signature about the Mirai. So this is, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I will not explain about the code, but just to give some idea about the, the signature, we can see here that the IP destination is something random. So the malware tried to find something random to attack. And when the guy is building the packet, they use the same value for the TCP sequence number. So this is not a standard. So the guy, so this is a signature that we can use. So if we translate this signature for a TCP dump, for example, we can for sure find some malwares related to Mirai. So machines compromised by Mirai. We can do this using the TCP, TCP dump. And I will try to do this now to see if we can collect some hours in the dark net. So this is the line. This is the, the filter for the TCP dump. Basically, we have the, the command, and this is the signature that represents the IP and the TCP sequence number. I will try to run this line and see how many Mirai we collect now. So this is live, and we have a lot of IP address running this moment that we are collecting. So every IP address is trying to do a brute force scanning for the port 23 or other ports because we have many variants, and they represent compromised machines. So we can try to find the responsible for that machines and try to put in quarantine or something like that. Or build filters for the firewall and try to avoid attacks. So I collect this traffic for one minute and we receive a lot of 
about 2,000 IP address in just one minute. Just to show you, for example, just to show you guys about the, the compromised machine, let's take this IP that is trying to attack our darknet in the port 23. Let's see which kind, which kind of device is this. So let's take the last one, this IP. That's, I don't know about this device, but let's just try to connect in the port 80 to see if they have some interface. Yeah, so it's a network video client. So maybe it's a DVD something, but for sure it's an IoT device. So this device is compromised and is trying to, to perform attacks to our darknet. Since it's mirror, you probably know this password now as well. Yeah. <laughs> so just to conclude, uh, the things are shouting at me, but I'm listening. Thank you, guys.